The Brownie camera was introduced in February 1900 and popularised low-cost photography, bringing about the concept of the snapshot. At a cost of just a pound, it was intended to be a camera everyone could afford and use. It was a simple camera to operate. It was a box camera made out of cardboard or later plastic. On the top there was a strap to enable people to carry their cameras, making photography more convenient to people on the go. The workings of the camera were secured inside the box by locks on the top and also at the side near the film advance. When people wanted to take a snapshot, they would put their eye to the rectangular viewfinder. There were two of these located both on the top and the side of the camera, allowing people to take both landscape and portrait pictures. The image from the viewfinder was seen through the viewfinder lens. There were also two of these on the front of the camera, relating in position to each of the viewfinders. The real lens was placed squarely in a central position on the front of the camera. When people wanted to take a photo, they would press a small lever at the side of the camera, known as the shutter lever. When this was pressed down, the photo would be captured. This is one of the most iconic cameras in the world and is responsible for the development of photography as we know it today.